What's going on everybody? Wanted to give a quick preview of the video that we're putting out today. So we're drafting teams for the new EA College Football 2025 online dynasty mode. We've got 11 teams in this league and the rule is it has to be ranked between 67 and 134 in the team overall. Uh, so we've put together a little spinning wheel. We're going to spin the wheel. It's kind of like Wheel of Fortune and see which one it lands on. A couple of rules for the league. We're playing it on all American mode. Uh, you have to start out as the offense coordinator and stay at your school that is selected for two years. And then of course, we'll be putting out some great content. So make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, leave us a comment on who you're starting with for your dynasty. We'll see you in the next video. Go again. Well, I can't make the college football playoff if I'm them. UAB. There you oh, go. Oh, UAB. All right. <laughs> all right see y'all so in next... the conference USA. Next on the list, no, so you're in ben the American. Oh yeah, I'm in yeah. American. Let's go. I kind of got my wish. Ben, if you're watching uh, on the stream, let us know what you think of the team you're about to get. Uh, Tyler, say the rankings again. From uh, what's the the range? Uh, 67 to 134. So anything above the 67th ranked team will be voided. Tyler's got the list, so we're not we're not cheating you here. Yeah. So here we go. Spinning the wheel. Spinning the wheel. What do we got? Rice. Okay. Uh, well, are, Houston action. There. Are available. Two Welcome people in the American. American already. Looks like All American right. Gonna be a so we have so one more spot in the American. We have our first special guest in Austin. Add him to the stream now. Austin, how's it going? Cheers. It's going good. Austin, what team are you hoping that you get? There's only one team on this list that I want. You already know what it is. Hail State. All right. Let's okay. see if we get the Bulldogs. Big. Want them to all. Hail State uh, it up in it. Good old, let's see. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, Maybe. Old Dominion. Okay. Yeah, and you're going to the Sun Belt Fun Welcome Belt. Welcome to the Sun Belt. I'm going to say that I could do a lot worse. You so could. I'll take it. I'm ordering their merch tonight. Do you know who the head coach is of Old Dominion? No, I don't. <laughs> is it Ricky you better, get, you better get acclimated be awesome. to your boss. It's about to be. Is it Ricky? Uh, it's Ricky Ronnie. I swear it is. So I'd Tyler, interview the man. Let's let's see what do you got for for for. All right, you going to Old Dominion? Uh, what's your your first plan once you get to Old Dominion? My first plan, I'm going to tell you right now, is we're going to shape them up. And I'm not fully versed on the new mechanics of this game, but I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to be watching YouTube video after YouTube video, and y'all don't know what y'all have coming. I'm telling y'all right now. I know we're all friends, but I'm coming here to win. The Sun Belt is the fun belt. We've all called it that before. And so that's what it's going to be. And it's going to be fun when I'm kicking your butts. Next up, we got Cameron, a.k.a. C-Money AZ. Cam, how's it oh, going? Yeah. I'm good. I'm good. How are y'all? Hey, good, yeah, good. Is that Cam Newton? <laughs> so <laughs> you could also... <laughs> no, I just went to Mississippi State. <laughs> that's true. Uh, C-Money AZ, we're going to have some content coming out with him over Absolutely. on his YouTube channel. So make sure you so subscribe there. So, Austin, like you were saying, if you're streaming, I would greatly appreciate it because I'm planning on making some content of everybody in the league if I can. So, I got to work go. work on those details. Here, but we got some stuff go. coming. So, All right, Cam, what team are you hoping you get here? You know, there's a lot of good teams on this list. I've actually done dynasties with quite a few of them. I've done Eastern Michigan, Air Force. You know, I've done a lot of them. Uh, but I think I have to agree with Austin on here. There's there's one true one that we both can represent well. So, I got to say go dogs. All right, let's see. Here we go. Okay. It's like Will of Is Fortune. It destiny. Man. <laughs> Who's he gonna get? FIU. Is FI International. <laughs> I can I can work with FIU. They got some hey, great Miami, news. Miami, baby, South Beach Knights. Going to you know sticking to the staying in state here, boys. You know I'm I'm looking forward it's a very to it. Very little conference there, Cameron. Is that a is that Sun Belt Conference like USA. USA? Oh, see us. Easy. I'm kind of hoping to get in that conference there with you. There's all the new FCS to FBS teams are in there. Oh, yeah. And then the only top 57 team is Liberty. So that's very winnable uh, for your Absolutely. guys down there. In the Absolutely. South I'm, I'm looking forward to FIU. I've, I've actually done a dynasty with them, too. So, you know, I don't mind that at all. I believe uh, they I've have done a dynasty with just a... All right. Who's their most famous alum? I honestly Hilton. couldn't tell you. Couldn't T.Y. Tell. Hilton. Oh, okay. Really? Yeah. You think he's the most famous alum? I mean, I couldn't name T.Y. Hilton out of the lineup. Uh, oh, like, could, could you name any NFL, other person from if, FIU? Let's see here. Famous graduates <laughs> of FIU. And his son 
is now in college, which is mind boggling to me. That um, is actually crazy. I don't know who any of these people are. Chris said Johnny up. Smith. Johnny Smith is an active NFL player, so maybe he one ups T.Y. T.Y. Yeah, Hilton might. is uh, like 17th on this list that I'm looking at here. Uh, <laughs> There's but the only one on the list that I've owned in Paul Bideri, FIU graduate. Look at that. Oh, there you go. And Riley Reed. Um, so, <laughs> so, Karen, how do you feel about taking over the, the offense coordinator position at FIU? I'm looking forward to it. I, I I honestly couldn't tell you what offense they run, but, you know, whatever it is, I can adapt. I can uh, – I'm, I'm great at audibles and hot routes, so, you know, I can make anything work if I need to. And I just hope that I get to play Chet this season because you better believe if I run 50 offensive plays – at least 49 of them are going to be screens on this man because he can't defend that, save his life. We got Cam W, another boy from the coast. Uh, let's see who he gets. Hey, they're probably they, like right on they're the close. line. They're, they're close. Yeah. But they're what, what are they ranked? They're like in the 50s. Colorado State? That's yep. a winner. All right, right. Colorado, Colorado West State. Representative. The Going on West. West. Yes, you got to deal with the primetime Dion though, in that annual game, so. Dion is on this now. list, guys. I just want to point that out. Yeah, Colorado is available on this list. That probably <laughs> has the most talent. Next on the list, uh, we're going to bring him into the into the studio. We got Krish, who uh, can't join for NFL fantasy drafts, but he can join for <laughs> college football EA sports drafts. Krish, how's it going? Going good, guys. Thanks for having me on. Excited to find out what my team's going to be. Who Fun are you fact, hoping it'll be? Krish can name every single stadium in this football game and probably their head coach too. All right. Can... Uh, yeah. Give me a team here, Tyler. Georgia Southern. Sure. Uh, Allen E. Paulson Stadium. Clay Hilton's their coach. Uh, I that know is Clay true. Moore. Yeah. My I'm sister's go there. going there. So, yeah, I actually oh, yeah. know. San, San Jose State. Uh, CEFCU Stadium. And I think their new coach is Ken Umentololo after last year. All right, Chris is invited to every trivia night going forward. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be ready to watch. You're not the current owner of an Xbox, but it's coming soon, right before the game. Are you a little worried you might not get it in time? No, I don't think so. I think Xbox Xbox should be easily attainable. I got a month. Probably going to get it this weekend. They have them at Sam's Club. Yeah, oh, I, was, a I was a PlayStation kid growing up, yeah. and then like none of my friends like, have, have PlayStation anymore. So uh, everyone's so, going who are you hoping to select here? So, alma mater, hope to get the Baylor Bears. Granted, their past couple of years have been very like mediocre. So, I had a, I had a curveball. Uh, I, I would really like to get uh, Arizona State. A lot of NIL good. money, uniforms, um, and a wide open new conference. Just kind of see what happens in the new Big Twelve. Uh, that that'd be my go to, but. I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll take whatever I can get. Okay, yes. we almost, it's all right. Sunshine for you. UConn? UConn? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It actually happened. <laughs> you said you're down for anything. There's only two oh. independents available, and you got one of them. So you'll be able to That's play gonna whoever you want. <laughs> yeah, we're I, gonna... I basically have a, a, a fully non-conference schedule. Yeah, you have all <laughs> non-conference. Yeah. You'll definitely have some user games, I feel like. So, yeah. yeah, it'll it'll be interesting to see your schedule, uh, just based off of off of randomization, of course, and it'll have to be built kind of out and work on on setting that up because you really have no idea what. The well, if we need to veto it now, I mean, we could make the decision as a league if you want them in a conference. No, no I think we just leave Let it. Let him be an independent man. schedule. Let him live his free life out there. Let me know your name. <laughs> All right, so, who's the coach? Who's the stadium? <laughs> Considering the randomization that's kind of gone on today with the wheel, it's been like every two or three have been above in that top 67 of the range of good teams, and yeah. then we get one bad team. So it looks pretty like much. I might have a pretty, pretty hard schedule. <laughs> yeah. <Yep. laughs> so who? what's the stadium? Who's the coach? Uh, it's Rentschler Field, and I think it's still Jim Mora. Well, you better know because he's your boss. It is starting. Your <laughs> yeah. <July 17th. laughs> 
Oh boy. Uh, we'll we'll get the we'll get some recruits up into Northeast United States. <laughs> They're gonna commit to the basketball team and then come over yeah, to the right. football team. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dual there sport. You think, you, I think I can be some good make make some good. Just make uh, Dan Hurley the head coach and you're yeah, good yeah, to go. Let Dan Hurley coach you. Yeah, let him yeah. coach. Yeah, do See, a little dual dual sport athlete. Uh, yeah, yeah. When yeah, the well, when the next college basketball game comes out, you can you can kind of tackle both of them. Yeah. So Tyler, question for our new UConn offense coordinator. All right, so obviously UConn's a perennial basketball powerhouse. How are you going to make this into a football school? So if I remember correctly, they were at least close to a bowl last year. But granted, because there was some hype around like – They have some like, passionate close. fans, let me tell you. Yeah, yeah, there was a UConn fan in our comments that would not let it go, man, until <laughs> until he got his ass kicked left and right, up and down down the field. Yeah, so I'm excited. I'm excited, ready to get uh, – I think an independent schedule will be really nice to kind of gauge – We'll be able to play a lot, a variety of teams to kind of gauge where our team is. Is that I think first step, of course, learning the squad, learning uh, who our three stars, four stars are. Yep, um, faces. Yeah, and then yeah. and then once that we get that first season under our belt, of course, going to be recruiting, throwing some of that basketball and alum money at some uh, at some recruits. <laughs> We're trying to get up into into New England, so uh, I don't think we have a lot of people to compete with. There's like Syracuse and Boston College. Yeah. Uh, there's not many, not many powerhouses up there, so maybe we can nope. start snagging some of those good high school recruits. Yeah, watch out! All right, so let's get back to the wheel of fortune. Wade, you are next on the clock. <laughs> or sadness? Yes, Wade. <laughs> who's, who, do you, who are you hoping to see here? Uh, what's college football without some action, baby? I want to be playing my games on Tuesdays and Wednesdays while y'all are playing in prime time. Hey, uh, I'm gonna be playing on Friday night. Yeah. Huh. I'm going to be playing on Friday night. Well, nobody's there in the Mac yet. I think it's wide open. I, I'd be down for that. Uh, personal ties, you know, I like the Gamecocks, but I could never win the SEC with them. Uh, my sister, Helen, is going to Georgia Southern next year, so that would be kind of fortuitous. But, okay. yeah, I think I'm going to end up in the Mac. I got a feeling about it. All right. All right. Well, let's Getting out of hand. <laughs> Nobody wants to hire me. Can I be a secondary coach somewhere? You might have to start off as a grad assistant. Water boy. Bowling Green. Bowling, Bowling Green. Green. Hey, you call me the Mac. The Mac. <laughs> Wait, how do you feel about Bowling Green? Oh, man, it was fate. After the sixth spin, my prediction was right. I'm going to the Mac. <laughs> hey, man, um, you called it. Who's your new boss? Do you know? I called it, man. I'm so good. There was only six conferences before it. Um, Yeah, I feel good about this. I think it's good to cover the map, if you will. Um. We got representation in almost every conference at this point. So I like Bowling Green here. They got cool colors, uniforms. Although Chris just sent me their ones for this coming year. They're kind of boring, but we'll work with it. And I think it's a good uh, jumping pad. I think I've watched them the last like six years play at Ford Field on Tuesday night for like the uh, quick lane bowl. So I guess they're a good enough program for me. So let's do it. All right, next up is Jacob. Who are you hoping for? Uh, you know, I'm actually hoping for uh, um you're hoping for South Carolina. Come South on. Carolina, yeah. Yeah, I, I kind of I kind of want I kind of want Wade South Carolina pick. Uh I want the challenge of the SEC, so. Okay. All right, Vanderbilt it is. Here we go. Here we go. Attention, I can just feel it. Baylor, there you Baylor. go. Oh, no. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's Let's go. Chris is going to trade you like Chris his whole career. In... Chris, Chris I'm adding you, adding you back here to the stage. How do you feel about uh, Jacob getting your your former alumni in the Baylor Bears? Um, a little disappointed that Baylor wouldn't want to choose me an alumni alumnus. But we'd rather choose Jacob. <laughs> they sent you up north. Yeah, they sent me all the way up into Canada. But that's okay. Um, I, I hope that Jacob can revitalize that offense. It's been very, there we go. very draft. I got, you. I got you. You know, this is a new Big Twelve that you're coming in. Like, no more Texas, no more Oklahoma. You got, you got Colorado, uh, Arizona State, Utah coming in. So, how do you uh, think uh, you're going to become the new uh, Texas and Oklahoma of the Big Twelve? You think in the next couple of years? Uh, I think we have a really good chance. I think we have some tough tests in the conference. We can obviously uh, take control of those. I think that. We will have an opportunity to win every single game, giving the guys the best uh, the best tools they 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 can get to to get that done and and win. Uh, of course, they will uh, 
will have some rigorous training as far as uh, stadium. You know, like yeah, it. just running. Stadium. You got to row the river. I mean, just absolutely diving river. in the river and gonna have to swim a mile like once a week. So river runs down by my house. It's dirty river. <laughs> absolutely. Hey, so call up Chip and Jorana. You know, you need a house. Yeah, you got a demo though. house. Yeah, come on. There yeah, you go. yeah. Get to work. Yeah, so we're gonna do everything work. we can for the community and for for Waco. Next on the list is our buddy Seth. Let's see who he gets. Yes. Former Lamar Jackson. Yep. All right. Vanderbilt, there's your SEC. Hey, SEC. Vandy. Seth's a big fan of uh, Aaron Rodgers, so we'll see if he brings him back on, on some. Maybe he'll, he'll have his little bro. Like he'll be pray, uh, playing in that brand new stadium, too. So, no more so yeah, to it'll be really really constructed. Just to recap, uh, we do have representatives from every conference except for the Big Ten. Oh. And the ACC. Yep. Okay. There we go. The list is Mr. Nicholas, uh, who was previously in the chat saying if he got Mississippi State, uh, he would not be very happy. So let's see right, well, what he what he gets here. Get back to back. Oh, no, uh, North Texas. Hey. Okay. All right. So North Texas. That means we have three teams in the American. Max no out American. Maxed out the American. We actually that's a good omen there, Nick, because we passed North Texas on our way to the casino in Oklahoma when we were on a golf trip and we won pretty big. So I think that's a that's a good sign. Last but not least, myself. <laughs> um who are you hoping for, Chet? <laughs> I was hoping for Appalachian State until I realized they were too highly ranked. <laughs> so Jack State. Marshall. I'm hoping for somebody in the Big Ten. We are I'm going to claim the top. Here we go. All right. Here we go. All right. <laughs> Let's go. Here we go. Who we got? Who we got? Ooh, Texas Tech, Tech, Tech. Indiana. Are they? Hey, there you Big go. Ten. Big Ten. Yeah. Go 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 the Big Ten. I am ready to bring Indiana to the top of the Big Ten. Uh, I don't know who their head coach is. I don't know what the name of their stadium is. You, I know you nothing out about on Indiana. Do you know where they are? They're – in Indiana. Starts with a B. Starts with a B. Bloomington, yeah. Indiana. Bloomington. Bloomington, Indiana. So you're going to be blooming some national titles in Bloomington, Indiana? I'm going to get a NIL deal with Outback, and every every player will have blooming onions pregame. There we go. So, there we go. <laughs> yep, Nick's got North Texas. So uh, maybe I will be seeing some of y'all in – I mean, the Big Ten is – guaranteed into the college football playoff. 